So Lauren, what are you doing here? We're building a wall, a terrace wall. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh. <laughs> I think that it's an interesting addition to our, our woofing experiences. It's uh, not my ideal situation, but the food's really good. A woof is costing you minimum, minimum 100 euro per week. So it's not an economical convenience at all. It feels like a vacation. I think it really does. I thought I was going to learn a lot more about sustainable farms, but I haven't learned too much at all. <laughs> Does this make you want to woof anymore? Yes. To see what I can actually do on a sustainable farm and what there is to learn because this place is definitely not what it's called cracked up to be. What woof <laughs> really strives for. I think this is the last time I'll ever walk in my life. This is crazy farm number three. It's more legitimate than the last one. And the last one was just a trash heap on top of a mountain, basically. So yeah, this is a little bit more legit, maybe because, because there's goats. <laughs> Crazy ladies! <laughs> La vie est une dure lutte. It's uh, always a fight. You have to conquest your wood to heat yourself. You have to conquest your food to eat. And it's much better to conquest it in the nature, to work for that than to fighting in the car, in the traffic, to go to the supermarket. Anyway, it's a fight. No? Mm. Here's our wolf accommodations. Sweet van. Well, here on the wolf farm. Wait a sec. Hmm? We're in Antwerp. This is not a farm. Pretty silly situation. <laughs> I was traveling through Belgium and said, man, I have little money and I could stay there for free. I called them up. I said, come on over. Before I knew it, I was here. Before we were like working like slaves and a friend he said, well, why don't you try move? Mostly you can have nice people from all over the world in your place. And that was it. We are brewing the best beers in the world. This is for sure. Yeah. Even Americans like it. It's just fun to have people around. Usually they're young, they're interested in things, they travel around. Woofers zijn heerste gemeesten. Oor je vraagt om het wat te doen, ze zijn dat en ze doen het. Well, not always. <laughs> Ik zou willen dat iedereen probeerde te doen wat hoefers doen. <laughs> How is this place? So much better than the last place. <laughs> Already, we don't even know the people yet. 
I uh, started uh, organic farming in 91. I wanted to treat my soil as good as possible so that for more generations to be uh, able to earn uh, their living on it. <laughs> what are we doing today, Lauren? Uh, shoveling shit and then power washing it. <laughs> about to start day two of shoveling cow poo all day. It's very exciting. Can't wait to put on my coveralls and my wellies and just shovel poop all day. <laughs> surprised how the people working, the young people and they're working good. Yeah, it are not normal traveling people, it, uh, it is a special group of traveling people. Most of the time that group of people fits very well on our farm and to us. <laughs> The best contribution is, I think, that people uh, treat each other in, a, in the right way. Yeah, that's most of the time what's happening with Wolfing, I think, uh, that's what we meet here. We give a lot of hope for the world. <laughs> <laughs>